Active learning, what we're doing with Engage to Learn, what you're going to lead in your campuses for the next five years and beyond, that's the, that's the ceiling, right? This is how high can we go, how high can we take these kids in addition to the academic standards, the rigor that we have to, uh, the standards we have to comply with to get our kids ready to get into college and make sure that they can thrive academically. We want to make sure that this active learning framework and all the work that we're going to do over the next five years also builds you know, hopefully a more holistic education for a child. So we get a child that not only is academically prepared, but social and emotionally very strong, a collaborator, a problem solver, a critical thinker. In partnering with Engage to Learn, we have the great opportunity to address a need in the district for having a responsible rollout of an initiative and a model for coaching and supporting our teachers as they transform teaching in their classroom. It's happening in El Paso right now, and you can tell when you work with the leaders. That's when you can tell. We work with a lot of districts, and what you can tell when you work with the leaders is, are they going to be able to pull this off and become that lighthouse district? And American education right now needs that. It needs lighthouse districts. And the leaders in this room can do that. One of the things that you know we've noticed, uh, and what our our teachers and administrators have asked for, is support in in how we um, have active learning in our district. And so, as we um, partner with Engage to Learn, and we go in on an individual basis and support both principals and teachers, they will have the tools and the resources to make it happen. And we're not just saying have active learning; we're showing, we're modeling, and they're seeing it and they're getting feedback on how to um, implement active learning in their classrooms, in their buildings. I think too why I'm excited about the, 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 the where we're going with the district is that we're finally tying in everything into one initiative. We recently have been hit with so many initiatives, you know, in, in trying to approve teaching along, you know, across the board that sometimes teachers can feel overwhelmed but I think this is really, really good because we're finally tying in best practices into one solid initiative that we can roll out to the teachers. So I think it's really, uh, we're, we're definitely heading in the right direction. So when I look at what, what's moving forward, I see the connection to a little bit more of the autonomy of the learning, the ability to go beyond just a classroom task or a directed task or goal into really taking some ownership, taking some autonomy, understanding um, where it fits in the big picture and feeling that they're creating these meaningful projects and meaningful outcomes. Kids are out there developing their own ideas. Kids are not just uh, finding the answers you want, but find their own answers, maybe different answers. That's the expectation, right? That's where active learning has to take us. Culture eats strategy for breakfast, all day, every day, right? We know that. Culture eats strategy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would say, all day long. You can system your way out of compliance problems, but you can't system your way to success and innovation in the way that we want. You can't. All, you can check all the boxes you want, but if you're not motivating people, you don't have that cultural shift, we're not gonna get there. So we're dependent on you to do that, and, and we believe you can do it.